What's up guys, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to another episode of the pros and cons of being a real estate agent. It is Saturday. I just got through showing one of my listings. It's a million dollar house on Perdido Key, Florida. So I did that about 8.45 and now I'm here talking to you. And I want to talk to you today about controlling your fears. Fear is actually one of the big cons of being a real estate agent. There's so much fear involved, especially when you're a new agent. Um, fear is the biggest thing. It's, it's, it's the largest problem that's holding you back from accomplishing everything you want to accomplish. Fear. It's fear that is holding you back, nothing else. Everything that you're scared of doesn't exist. Let's start right there. Everything that you're scared of, everything that you fear that might happen, doesn't even exist. It goes back to what I talk about when I say 90 to 95 percent of the things you worry about never happen. It's absolutely true. Fear and worry go together and you're scared about things that might happen and I think more so you're scared about the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen so you're scared of it because um, you've never been there. You have no experience. This is your first time in real estate. You're trying to do your first deal. You're trying to get your first listing. So everything is an unknown, and so there's a lot of fear that goes behind that. What I want to do today is try to take a lot of that pressure off of you. I want to make you understand that there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Um, let's talk about the, the fear really quickly about you're scared to, say, make phone calls, or you're scared to show property for the first time. You might get questions asked to you that you don't know the answer to. I'm here to tell you right now that you don't, you're not expected to know every little thing. Okay, What your job is is to answer what you know and then go find the answers to the rest and bring them back to the prospect. Okay, You're not supposed to be an encyclopedia of every single last detail of every property. No one in the world knows every little detail to every single property and can answer every single question that they're asked. Nobody. So don't worry about the questions that might come up that you don't know the answer to. It's perfectly fine. When you're making phone calls, you're scared about rejection. You're scared about how people are going to react. You're scared if you say the wrong thing, they're going to get the wrong impression of you. Listen to me. It's okay. Right? You can't hide who you are. Right? If you mess up, if they judge you over something like that, then they may not be the, the prospect for you. They may not be the client for you. Okay? You have to go through this process. You have to go through these stages, I call it. And fear is one of the biggest stages in the beginning of your career. And every time you try to up your game and do something um, exceptional, and every time you try to go to another level, there's always going to be a level of discomfort. You're getting out of your comfort zone, right? When you grow, you're getting out of your comfort zone. The further you get away from your comfort zone, the more you're going to grow. And so know this and embrace it. Embrace the discomfort. Embrace the fear. Embrace the uncertainty and just go because I promise you, once you step into the zone that you're scared of, and you realize that there was nothing to be scared of the whole time, you're going to become addicted to whatever that is that's going to make you successful. And 99% of people are not going to get into that zone. You have a upper hand. You have a huge advantage over all the other agents when you step into that zone that you're scared of because most people won't do it. Hey, George. Yeah, I got in. Okay, yeah, but we're all good, and they loved it. Uh, these people loved it, so I'm going to stay with them and see what happens, but they, they really liked it a lot, so yeah, man. Same here, man. Bye-bye. Sorry I had to catch that call, but back to fear. This is what I want you to know. I want you to know two things before I let you go today. The first thing is, is a way to control fear. Okay, the one thing that can control your fear is confidence. When you have confidence in who you are, what your intents are, and that you are there to, to work hard, to do people right, to be dependable, to be professional, to do the very best that you can do, and you know that, then that should overcome any fears that you have of, say, rejection. 
Okay, because if somebody rejects you, it's because they didn't realize how special of a person you are, and that's their loss, not yours. We're in a world where we're automatically, we automatically think the bad about people when we meet them uh, a lot of times, uh, or a lot of the population. Um, I like to think of the good. I, I look at people whenever they approach me. I've never met them. Um, you know, I look at them as this could be good, and I'm watching to see which way this is going to go. And you never know. It could be good or bad, right? But at the end of the day, I give people the benefit of the doubt until they prove me wrong. Okay, but most of society is not like that, right? They think automatically somebody's here out to get me. Okay, because they've probably been gotten a couple of times. Okay, so don't hold it against them that they judged you too early. Okay, that's their problem, not yours. Okay, and what I want you to realize is that this business is so unlimited that it doesn't matter. We do the very best we can do to give the best impression to everybody we meet, and we're going to capture 10 to 20 to 30 percent of the people that we meet when we have the best intentions. Those people are going to love us forever. They're going to become part of our extended family. They're going to do business with us. They're going to refer all their friends and family to us. And that's what we're looking for. But the other 70, 80 percent of people who either don't like us, judge us too early, already have a real estate agent, etc., we can't help that. And we have to understand that the rejection comes with the success. You can't have one without the other. Okay, so remember, confidence and intent will overcome any fears. Okay, and then when you realize business is unlimited, closings happen every day, it's okay to be rejected because that's their problem, not yours. Okay, the second thing I want to leave you with is that when you know that getting out of your comfort zone is what's going to put you in the best position uh, financially, success-wise, um, even physically, pushing yourself in the gym, out of your comfort zone, everything outside of your comfort zone is putting you in a better position in your life, and it's enabling you to provide a better life for your friends and family and your coworkers and everyone around you. You owe it to not only yourself, but your friends and family to get out of your comfort zone and be the best person and produce the best results and reach your full potential that you can possibly reach. So don't let fear, don't let discomfort stop you because that to me is literally in, in a big way a selfish act not to give it all you have, go full steam ahead, go all in, push all your chips in the middle and say, here I am. What, what can they do? Kill me? No. They're not going to be able to kill you because your intent's there, your confidence is there, and if you lose people here and there because they judged you too early, like I said, their problem, not yours. So I hope this video helps you. If you have any reservations about even getting into real estate or you're in real estate, you, you don't know if you, you're, you have it in you to make phone calls or to door knock or whatever the fears are, getting asked questions you don't know the answer to. I hope this video helps you realize that it's okay and that you don't have to know everything and that you don't have to convert every single lead. People are going to judge you too early. That's okay. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep putting that work in and everything is going to work out. I promise you. So until next time, thank you guys so much. Click subscribe, hit the bell. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon.